Now we're going to show you quickly how to do an ultrasound guided needle oak. So there's two pieces of equipment. That you have your needle and then you have your hook wire. Um, these come in a variety of different lengths, 5, 7 and 9 centimeters, depending how deep the lesion is. Um, this is straightforward needle with centimeter markers and then if you look closely here at the hook wire you'll see there is a uh, marker, one centimeter burr on it where it's a little thicker. I'll show you how that comes into play in a minute. And then at the other end is our little hook which also has some centimeter markers on. So um, Nicole's just going to insert the wire into the needle. Obviously you have to do it from the hub end otherwise you're going to run into issues. You put it down and you put it down so it's no further than the um, distal end of that little bird section and at that point the wire is not advanced out of the needle. Now when she pushes it in so that the it's now at the distal, I'm sorry, at the proximal end of that little burr, and now you can see the hook is now fully deployed. So she's going to take it out again and just load it up ready to do the needle localization. So um, the anesthesia for these is the same but we just, you just don't give us much and you only usually just go up proximal to the lesion when we deploy these. Um, you're going to insert them using exactly the same techniques as you would for inserting the trocar for the core biopsy that we've seen before. Again, same tricks for, uh, for visualizing the tip. And then as we're going to show you, you want to go through the middle of the lesion and you want to be usually 5 to 10 millimeters on the other side of the lesion to make sure that it's firmly attached. So here we are, um, here's her needle on the right hand side of the screen aiming towards our uh, olivoma. It's going straight through the middle of the lesion. I want to make sure that we're about, as I said, about 5 to 10 millimeters on the other side of the lesion. I just want to check your tip very carefully because you see they're pretty steep angles. There we go, that's just nicely there. Now while it's in that position, here now we have our needle in the lesion. As you can see our beef steak is looking a tad worse for wear here after two days of movies. You see the thick, little thick part there, one centimeter thick part of the wire. Now she's going to push the wire forward till the distal end of the thick is right at the edge of the hub of the needle. Then she's going to stabilize that and not push it any further and withdraw the needle with her left hand just keeping a little bit of forward pressure on that wire but not actually pushing it forward. And once it's gone past the proximal end of the burr you know it's in, once it's there you give it a little tug just to make sure that hook's deeply embedded. Now we'll look at the image, do a quick check image and make sure it's in the right place. And there is our um, little hook wire. The tip is uh, as we wanted just on the other side of the lesion. Um, and I'll draw an arrow on that. 